And how effective is this approach? Is it 90% of patients get better in some way? Is it 10%? And so that's been, uh, that, 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 remembering that TMS is a technology. So the, if you asked me the question in 1995, it would be asking a little bit like, well, how, how far can your electric car drive in 1995 versus how far can your electric car drive in 2025? There's The good news is there's progress. Um, the early TMS studies were only getting about 10 or 15% of people to remission but they were also only doing about 10 or 15 sessions of treatment. And then later studies did about 30 sessions of treatment and got about 30% of people better. And then later studies did about 50 sessions of treatment and sometimes you get 50% of people better. Uh, and then other studies were using MRI guidance to kind of fine tune the location of the stimulation. And it turns out some people, it turns out they're, because of their anatomy, you need to have map their anatomy a little more closely to get the coil over the right spot. Uh, but the biggest breakthrough, I think, in the last two or three years is noticing that um, TMS requires, as we mentioned, it, re it requires the brain to have neuroplasticity, right? Um, there are implantable brain stimulators that people use for Parkinson's and depression and so on. And then a surgeon will implant them like a little pacemaker in the target circuit. And then you walk around with it all day long. Uh, TMS isn't like that. You sit in the chair, you get a session of treatment for three minutes, and after a bunch of sessions, you then, it has to keep lasting for weeks or months, even after you've gotten the treatment done. So the only way that that works is if you have neuroplasticity. Uh, and some people just don't have very much. We don't know why, but there's a lot of variation. So when we treat a bunch of people with depression, about 20% of people show a really strong and really rapid response. And then about 10% of people show nothing at all. And everyone else is somewhere in the middle. It's almost like you're bailing a bit of a leaky boat. So you're kind of bailing it out, but they're getting worse. And then they tend to keep coming back. These are the ones who seem to need more plasticity. And one of the ways that has just come out in the last two or three years to make TMS a lot better is it turns out that there are some simple off the shelf old medications that enhance the brain's plasticity. Uh, and if you take those medications a little like an hour or so before you get your TMS sessions, it works a lot better and it lasts a lot longer.